What up everyone, Jay here, bringing you the Sparkle Charles, Sparkle Wills giveaway. Whoever, whoever I pick, it's his choice. I'm just going to tell you, if you want to if you want to be really nice, you're going to choose the Sparkle Jamal Charles. I kind of want to keep Sparkle Willis. Because <laughs> I need, um, I run 155 and I need five linebackers. And there's only four Redskin linebackers, so i got to have somebody who's not a Redskin on the out there. And I want to keep Patrick Willis, though. If, if whoever wins, be the nice guy and choose Jamal Charles. Anyways, this is my team. Um, on defense, I only have two guys on defense that are, haven't been Redskins, and that's Patrick Willis and uh, Bruce Irvin. Offense, you know, I've, nothing's really changed. If you've seen more than one video of mine, and yeah, so in this gameplay, I'm not going to talk too much about the game, actually. I'm just going to just brief me playing Madden, just some cool stuff of the past, because I've been playing Madden for a very, very long time. And here, I'm just showing record, not a bad record, 225, 29, 22. Want to know what I wish? I wish I wouldn't. I got this game for uh, Xbox One in February. I played it on 360, because I was playing in online tournaments, and where the money was up to play online that anyone doesn't know I I like I got addicted to mud here there's a uh, that's my shot I played on 360 till about January and then Sean Taylor came out for mud so I decided to buy an Xbox one and then I came over and you know I was about 150 and 10 on 360 when I came over it's like oh that would have been cool to be on the mud invitational but oh well you're looking at this guy's team. It's whatever. He, uh, Colin Kaepernick. I'm not sure which Thurman Thomas that is. You know, he has a bunch of average players. And let's get into the gameplay. I think so. You guys probably want to know who's going to win this, eh? You want to know who wins this. There's a... I was like some of the comments that were actually left. Some of them are pretty funny. But, um, I'll give a little brief explanation of why I picked the winner. Once we get there, 500 sub giveaway, and then he has Deion Sanders returning the kick, and we're on defense. At first, we're running the 3 4. We're playing um, 3 4 odd. He ran strong close off tackle right there. Then this guy ends up, this guy was actually pretty good. I could tell because he was definitely throwing dots. And I, I can usually tell if I'm playing someone who's good or bad right off the bat. And this guy was pretty good. Here he's. I bit on the screen, and then after that I was like, all right, no more blitz in five. I don't know, my quick blitz wasn't getting in. I got a, uh, a nice blitz from the right side that usually gets in. It didn't get in there, so we're down 7 up. So now we're coming out. We're running the strong tech. No, I'm not. The reason I, d I don't even know why I'm posting this gameplay. It's not that great of a gameplay because I realize this guy can't stop off tackle and strong close. So I, I just abuse the hell out of it. But this gameplay isn't for the game. That's that new collector's edition, Alfred Morris. And then here, this could be Jamal Charles' last touchdown ever. And we get a Spinner Rooney by Booker T. Or Booker T Spinner Rooney. <laughs> and we're alright. And we're alright. So we're 7 7. That Dion, he has the receiver Dion if you paid attention to his roster. Here, running first play. We're going to 5 5. I realize he just lit me up. And um, here. He's gonna throw an out route. We got the out route covered. London Fletcher, Char you can interception. And this was a really bad play call. I thought he was gonna run commit because I ran off tackle every other time. It was alright, we're done with the uh We're done with talking about this gameplay. But I'm gonna talk about some I get a lot of comments saying I'm horrible at this game because um you see I'm in fag a lot. And since I've got on next gen, all I've been playing it really is mutt. Uh, when I was on 360, I was also, I run the 155, and uh, when I was on 360, I was running the 155. We'll look at these pictures. We'll get back into that. Me, Madden Challenge. When I was just a little baby boy, I was bottom left corner. That first picture there. I'm in the second monitor in that gray beanie. Third picture coming up here is actually in the when they had the final four. I'm actually in the middle playing in a contest. I, I got eliminated like fourth round. I wasn't really good at Madden then. I was just an online player. There's a Madden 11 tournament at my local Walmart I won. I was on the right there. You can see I'm a little chubby. <laughs> and this next picture, I'm kind of I'm pretty chubby too. I had a uh, I had a loss of fitness in my life. <laughs> I wasn't in very good shape. And, ooh, dots me over the middle. And that was a Madden 13 tournament I won. Here's a Madden 25, same tournament. The only reason I went 
It was like a $200 prize. The only we reason I went is they asked me to come defend my championship. So I did. Drive. It was like a four hour drive to that too. And then there's me after I uh, won it. Again, you can see I'm a little, little bit skinnier. And that's like a year a year difference there. And then there, another Madden 25 tournament. I think I got the two fingers up because it was the second time I'd won it. And then here. So I was talking about why I ran the 155, and if you played on 360 and you played in tournaments, everyone, even on, I'm sure, on ranked games, everyone abused QB wraps and uh, out route. And you could actually have good run defense for the QB wrap while also stopping the out route. So when I came over to when I came over to next gen, I was going to change because I, I had been running the same thing already for four months. I was going to switch it up. And I tried running the 4.6. The 4.6 just was, wasn't because everyone runs 4.6, nickel strong, bear under, all that type of stuff. So another couple other things from me, because talk about me a little bit before we get into it. I, if anyone knows, I actually got an MLG 10. I got invited to the MLG Pro um, Major League Gaming. That Madden was on the MLG circuit, and I was actually ranked number one on PS3 at the time. And they had a competitive website on Game Battles where you qualified for it. And I actually got invited to two of the events. I was a, I was really poor at the time, so I couldn't go. And now we're going to go into some of these comments. Let's get into it. Tyler Edmonton, I straight jizz in my pants. It's giveaway, man. I thought that was a little funny. Um, I'll tell you guys. Oh, what do we got? Oh my god, the Blackhawks scored. I'm a Blackhawks fan. <laughs> there we get a sec. What am I? I'm off 17 10 in this game. Not too bad. All right. I was basically whoever made the comment that made me, I don't know, comment that I liked or something that made me giggle. And I wasn't going to give it to this guy, and then I decided to. And then I would do dirty, dirty things to obtain Patrick Willis or Jamal Charles. I'll probably eat SpaghettiOs of Alfred Morris's fart box, read a book how to dread my hair like RG3, then buy a yellow Jeep Cherokee like in the movie Zoolander, and have a gas fight with Deshaun and his fellow gang mates. I'd be pretty rad-ass time. But in all seriousness, I think I just said thank you for having this. No problem, dude. No problem. And there we go. We make it a two-score game. Sorry, you two. Neither one of you guys are the winners. Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside of you when you are pulling ass pro packs. Never <laughs> surrender. Fucking okay, I put too much money into packs. I I really don't want to talk about that. Like I gotta say, this next one's a long one. Let's see if I can pull this off. I will let you sleep with my mother and sister at the same time for Jamal or Willis. They are well-known entrepreneurs and they have their own TV show on E. I'm guessing the Kardashians. You have E seen it on. And one of them just married a well-known hip-hop artist. All right. Her husband once drank a gout. Actually, I'm not going to read the rest of this. Fun fact. My dad actually beat Bruce Jenner in a game of tennis back in the day when he was younger. And if you didn't know, Bruce Jenner used to be like this big, like, triathlete, Olympian type of athlete. Fun fact. Here I am taking a knee. You know, I've been all over the place on this, but mainly I just want to say, everyone, thank you for the support. When I post tip videos, when I post game, tournaments, mutt, anything what I ever do. Thank you. It's been a long year. And here's my winner, Pornstar V. You are the one that gives through Shocker 360. Well, you gave him the Shocker, right? Now, the reason why I picked him, if any of you know who he is, anything about him, you might just follow him. I don't care. But I'm not a big fan of fraudulent people, and he's a fraudulent person. And I'm just going to say the... I'm just going to say a quick quote why, or that he might go by. Fake it till you make it. All right, thanks, everyone.